when two butterflies touch each other's butts, the female butterfly gets to live longer? Well, let's find out about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now you have so many plants and animals. <laughs> So we all know that butterflies have really pretty wings and they go through this amazing metamorphosis throughout their life. But there are actually many other hidden secrets about butterflies that most people don't even know about. And that's why we're here today at Tampanese Changkat Butterfly Garden to observe some of these butterflies. And like for real, this is a public space and there's already 20 or 30 butterflies just fluttering around. It's, it's so awesome. So if you're ready, let's go. So to start things off, over the past century, Singapore has actually lost about 50% of all our native butterfly species due to our deforestation and rapid development. And that's a problem because butterflies are crucial in helping plants to pollinate their flowers. So no butterflies means no new plants. But thankfully in recent years, more efforts have been made to conserve and protect our remaining species. And that's why we have butterfly gardens like this that have specific plants to attract and feed the butterflies and their caterpillars. And we have butterfly gardens all around Singapore from Jurong to Tampanese to Marsaling and even One North. So some of the more common butterflies that you might see around these parks include the leopard butterfly, the common grass yellow, the chocolate pansy, and the plain tiger. Now because there are so many butterflies around these parks, right, confirm you'll see a few of them trying to mate. And as you can see over here, a pair has joined together backside to backside and they really are stuck together. Because butterflies actually have clamps at the ends of their abdomens. And its purpose is really to lock a mating pair together until the deed is done. And they will stay locked together like this, even in flight, for hours on end and even overnight. And you can really see that one of them is tanking all the weight while the other just hangs there. And all of this effort is to basically allow the male to transfer a small bobble called a spermatophore from his body into the female. Like literally, it's a small ball that is around 15% of the male's weight with sperm inside. And the reason why it's packaged this way is because once the sperm has left to fertilize the eggs, the female's body will actually break down the outer shell of the spermatophore to get specific nutrients that not only helps her to produce more eggs, but will help her to live longer. So basically, it's like those shady miracle pills, but this time, it actually works. So a female can lay a few hundred eggs at one go, and she has all that energy in part thanks to the power-up that she got from mating, and also from her own diet. Now since we're talking about diets, butterflies actually only consume liquids. And they find the best liquid to slurp up by stepping all around because butterflies taste with their feet. And so usually they go for flower nectar because it's rich in sugar and it gives them the energy to go about their day. However, they actually also need other nutrients like nitrogen and salts which they actually consume by drinking mud. And actually, it has also been documented that butterflies will go and slurp up sweat, pee and blood to get these nutrients. Which makes sense because all of these contains sugar, amino acids, nitrogen and salts too. Uh, yes, you heard me right. Butterflies would actually drink the bodily fluids of animals. But don't worry, they don't actually have the ability to puncture your skin in any way. They just drink whatever an animal may excrete or they drink the blood of dead animals. Okay, but if you really think about it, as weird and creepy as it may seem, to an animal, nutritious liquid means nutritious liquid. And it's just what it needs to survive and to reproduce. And I don't know, I think butterflies are way more relatable now knowing that they have a weird and dark side to them because don't we all have that? But yeah, I hope that through this video, you actually get to appreciate these insects even more now. Because girl, they worked really hard to reach this stage from being a caterpillar to transitioning through its pupil stage. And now, they are blood-drinking, butt-touching, miracle-pill-giving insects. And just like how Singapore is trying to grow and protect what's left of our butterflies, let's also always remember to learn and to better ourselves and to respect each other's growth and individuality. 
And this marks the end of this episode. But before we leave, I would like to give a big shout out to my patrons. Mrs. Chu, Mr. Chu, Spotman, Sky Baby, Ingler, HR Queen, Kaysen, Ping Hu Master, Just Juice, Jar Block Tango, Amal Delo, Neko Sama, Uncle Sam, Amelia, Crooked Spider, Low Eli, Big Three Circles, AB, Nero, and Angel, and Emmy. Thank you once again for supporting this channel directly. And if you would like to do the same, you can find the link to my Patreon down in the description below. Do also follow me on all my other social media platforms and subscribe to watch more videos of our local ecology. Thanks again for watching and remember, keep your eyes peeled because it is a jungle out there that will try to drink your blood and your sweat and your tears and just gonna you know, stick their little proboscis little thing and then start like, you know, slurping you up. <laughs>